Um, I'm going to need to put some pot pies in the oven in just a second. Okay. But I'm waiting for it to preheat because I'm a grown-up. And a grown-up's preheat. Okay. Their ovens. So I have a small problem with my oven. Uh, all okay. of the all of the temperature markers around the dial have all been worn away. But you know it probably goes up to like what five hundred? Yeah. So just do it like that. <laughs> Put it back on. <laughs> Draw it back on. It's probably broil at the end. Look, I have lived in some weird places. Well, we have um, we have one of those like kitchen thermometers that like can survive temperatures like that. So that's what you're using. Yeah. You're not just like d checking it and then getting like a one of those sharpies that writes on plastic no. and going for it. No, no. okay. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know how to handle that. I like fixing things, for real. <laughs> I mean, yes, don't get me wrong. My my drawer right now is like 50% gaff tape because I don't want to get it dealt with. But that's because the drawer is made of fucking plastic and my silverware is in there. But it is fixed. It's not like I'm like, yeah, the drawer's just broken. You gotta open it real slow. I'm like, yeah, no, I fixed it with some tape. It's fine. It's very strong tape. <laughs> I once fixed a pair of shoes with that tape, and they lasted all summer. And that's really only as long as they needed to last. They were very old shoes. <laughs> and they were mostly calf tape. <laughs> Look, that shit's like $8 a roll. It's okay. not... Screwing around tape. Okay, I'm gonna go put my thing in the thing. Give okay. me a second. Ooh. Oh, I just sat down for 45 minutes. Bitch. Okay. You know what's a real crying fucking shame? What's a crying shame? That you can't get your in-home spy bot to answer to whatever name you want it to. Huh. Because I really want to just be able to call mine robot. Which is what we refer to it casually as. But right. I want to be like, robot, set a timer. Wouldn't that be nice? Like we've there got... are, like, some options. Apparently, computer is one of them, though, but I say that. Right. You might say that on accident. Don't... Also, apparently, I have been told that it will respond to um, certain Star Trek characters saying computer. That's funny. But apparently, only certain ones. I don't know which ones. I was informed huh you do not seem particularly interested what's up me no i'm just trying to figure out where we're where we're supposed to go um south probably yep well, south leads oh, no, to we're a supposed gate to go, that sends oh, we're supposed us to, to go Fort, over to Salma. Fort Salmo. Not, do you have Krita? I yeah. do. So, uh, Gindaran Fields, if we go to Traveler's Dale. Sounds good. Okay, I think that's the best choice. But yes, I suppose I'm just... You're going to have to walk. I, I suppose I don't I don't own an indoor spy bot, so I, I, I guess I'm not so stoked. That it's I a glorified a timer. <laughs> That's all we use it for. It was a Christmas present from a couple years ago. Okay. You know, it wasn't. In, it's just it came into our house, and we were like, I guess we should set this up. Mostly, I use it as a speaker for NPR, which I still control from my phone anyway. 
uh, and uh, and a timer. It's it's a Bluetooth speaker with a built-in timer. That's all it fucking is for us, which is probably not ideal. Um, one of my old bosses had me set up his um mm -hmm. his Alexa explicitly only so he could say Alexa, play the blues when he got home. That's it. Fair enough. <laughs> Look, here's the thing. Uh, no, don't get me wrong. I am from a generation that is like, I'm not even surprised when I'm not offended that things are spying on me because I'm not Gen Z, but I'm also not like surprised by it. Right. Like, cause I'm not Gen X or earlier. Millennials have a weird interaction. Well, not all millennials, m many millennials, because we grew up during the time of Homeland Security. But say the, the the Patriot Act started after. Yeah. Yeah. So I think a lot of kids younger than us are like, oh, my God, how dare they spy on us? And other people older than us are like, oh, my God, how dare they spy on us? And we're just like, yeah, that's how the world works. Yeah, that's just what they do. I mean, it people sucks. just spy on you all the time. And except now it's for capitalism, not the military industrial complex. It, there is no change. Right. Now they're not rooting out commies. Now they're just trying to figure out what your buying history is. We should go this way. Yes. Um, so to me, I'm like, whatever. Honestly. If I can have a glorified timer. Now, on the other hand, I will smash it with a hammer. But, like, it's just like. I, I guess I guess I never grew up with a sense that I wasn't being constantly spied on, so I'm not offended when I'm being constantly spied on. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I also get... I've told you about my surveillance network idea, right? No, God, this sounds stupid. This is gonna be dumb. I'm ready. Get ready for a stupid surveillance idea. Okay, so... I... I feel like I would not feel bad to live in a world where everyone's actions were constantly being recorded and monitored and anyone had access to those records no no that's bad here's the thing i don't want to say like oh i'm used to it so it's good i'm just used to it it's still bad <laughs> I do want to note that I don't think it's a good thing that everybody is spying on us. I'm just, that's the world we fucking live in. Right. And it's that's hard. fucked up, and that's how we live now. It's hard It's hard to be upset because it's so omnipresent. Right. I'm just like, yup. That checks out. Look, you have to understand, I have a bumper sticker on my phone as a child- on my landline phone as a child that said, assume this phone is tapped. <laughs> so... It was, in fact. I should know. Not when I was a child, but later in life, when I was friends with people with security clearances. Who oh. we call- who I called on my landline because I didn't have a phone. You know. <laughs> you know, in the 90s. What the fuck? I don't know, there's a present. Oh, it's it's fucking win it's still winter fast. Okay, murder them. Commit crime. <laughs> oh no, the squid are here. You better pick that up. It's still I guess I did not realize it was still like their winter event. It's Christmas. You can't lie to me, it's Christmas. It's fucking Christmas. Okay, that's a thing that I, in the last couple of years, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I'm fucking over people pretending it's not Christmas. Right? Like, I get it, yes, we should all say happy holidays, but bitch, start decorating like it's other things. If I walk into a fucking goddamn store and there's, like, a bunch of ornaments and everything's red and white and green, and it says happy holidays, I'm like, that's just Christmas. Right, this is just Christmas shit. You need to- you can't- you can't just say happy holidays and have nothing- <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm gonna grab this waypoint real quick. Oh, I think I have to go around the other side to get the waypoint. But yeah, no, like, look, it's- it's Christmas. 
it's just fucking Christmas. You can't Christmas, say dude. it. Say holidays. Christmas. Oh, what I... was it? Um, I. No, keep going. No, I'm just. It's it's like you know when they divided. You know how it's it's not AD and BC anymore. Right. How it's CE and BCE, BCE. and it's stupid and wrong. Because, like, bitch, it's still Jesus. Right. You didn't change the year, it's still about Jesus. The like, common era is just Jesus. It's Jesus time. I know what's up. Don't fucking unless, lie to me. Unless you change the name, unless you change the date, it does not count. And I'm okay with that. Like, but I, I wish we were honest with ourselves. Right, I feel I feel comfortable in saying that Christianity has been a big fucking deal. It will not shut up. Yes, it's the worst. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Yeah. Now here here's an idea. Okay. Um I uh on Christmas Eve I do only say Merry Christmas. Not only. Not like hard and fast. I will only say Merry Christmas. But like, I do change from Happy Holidays to Merry Christmas on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Okay. What's your point? I don't know. I just thought that would be bad. Um. Oh, that's. I guess we keep going just that the way. the door, but it's closed. I don't know what's up with that. That's do you know weird. who we are? We fucking. Excuse killed. me. Excuse me. What's the name of the dragon? I don't even remember. Zaitan. Zaitan. We fucking killed Zaitan. Open the fucking door. Um. Here's here's my caution with that. Okay. Sometimes, oh, sometimes Hanukkah falls on Christmas. Oh fuck! I didn't know that. Yeah. Hanukkah okay. can also fall on Thanksgiving, and so it's the problem. Do you know why this is? No. Do you want to know why no, this I is? No, I want to know. Is it a so, lunar holiday? What the it fuck is happening? It is a happening? lunar calendar. Ah. Judaism uses a lunar calendar. Oh, I think we can get up this way. Yeah, got it. Um, yes, it's a... Uh, there's a champion over here. Let's go fuck that up. I do love fighting a champion. Um, but... Yeah, so that is the problem, is that you're, you're, it's like how, you know, how, um, uh, uh, Lunar New Year, the, the Asian Lunar New Year? Yes. It's lunar, so it's never at the same time as, it's never on the same calendar day. Same thing with all Jewish holidays, because the Jewish calendar is... I'm on the ground. Please pick me up. Hello. Yes. Uh, I'll, did you pick yes. Did you, okay. Oh, you're no. right next to me. I came. I came over here so you could pick me up. I appreciate that. I was like, I don't want to stand in the fire. I will move. Um. Uh. Yeah. So that's why you never know when it's gonna be. It's very frustrating. I, I gotta guess. tell you. Yes. Yeah, so Hanukkah can be anywhere, essentially, between Christmas and Thanksgiving. What a mess. I mean, it's fine for me, but, like, that's because I know that it does that. Right. Well, I knew it, it moved around. I didn't know it could move around so much. Yeah, it's a significant change. Um, the shift is, is my major. And I should know, speaking of calendars in BC and whatever, the Jewish calendar is on the year 5,000-something. Because it does not go by Jesus. <laughs> but... We'll never talk about that. Nope. Can't talk about that. That's... Mm, nope. Mm, too much Jesus. Jeez, speaking of Jesus, Jesus Christ, why is there so much shit in my fucking inventory? <laughs> oh, this is to, awful. It's, it's time for you to face the reoccurring boss in your inventory. Yeah, I gotta just get rid of some shit in here. God, why is there so much of it? It's because I haven't gone to a bank with this character any time recently. 
I mean, my bank is all full of boosts because I never get rid of those. Just use them. <laughs> but what if I need them later? What if what if another character needs them? Do you play the other characters? Sometimes. All right. So anyway, <laughs> that was a stupid thing that you said. Fuck. <laughs> Trying not to use my glide is very hard. I understand that what I said was stupid, but hey, I I just learned how to overcome my potion paralysis. All right. All right. I guess that's fair. I finally I finally brought myself to be able to use. Um, uh, uh, re restocking resources. Uh, soon I'll be able to use once in a lifetime um, uh, resources. Can we, can we pause briefly? For pie? For pie. No, 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 no. Those went in the oven. No, I want to. Oh, get the I want to go talk to that merchant oh, right there. Yes, yes, yes. I saw the merchant on the map and I was like, I gotta get him on that. <laughs> I gotta get him on this, um, this merchant action. Immediately, if not sooner. Uh, okay, that's a little better. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, I have room in the inventory. Marvel. I gotta like log on someday when we're not playing and go to inventory, like serious inventory management. And just move some things around. I haven't opened bags because like they fill up my inventory with shit. <laughs> so that's not great. <sighs> I hit the yes button. It doesn't wanna. Oh no! More fucking Mother vines. Yeah, th this is vine o'clock. It's gonna be vines from here until we finish this expansion. God damn it! It's just vines until you die. Fuck. I hate. This is one of the things I hate the most about this expansion. Is that I do not like vines. Fucking quaggin is making a noise that I also do not like. Yes, no, this quaggin is sad and that makes me angry. Oh, also, I just didn't like that whining noise that it made. Oh. Look, you don't have a younger sibling that whines at you. I don't. She's not doing it as much anymore, but there was a time when I was like, okay, you can't talk until we're done with this shit. I hate everything you're doing, and I need you to not ever do it again! But it's the worst. Children are the worst. Oh, yeah, no. Nice. Hey, glad to have a helping hand. Part of my squad is pinned down at the bottom of a hill. If you can go get them, I'll open Of course, the now we have to go get some shit. Obviously. I'm pretty sure there's like a tragedy that occurred. Uh, yeah. Um, so, to, to loop back around, what I would recommend in terms of Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, etc., is to figure out what the person you're talking to celebrates. Celebrate. Yeah. Okay. I gotta tell you, people do not do that. People just assume... You gotta get out of the habit of assuming somebody is Christian. Right. That's the real issue. Right. Because Christian is not the default. No. In America, it is. And it sucks super bad. And there are some people, like the very nice man in Walgreens, who wish me a uh, Merry Christmas. That guy is fine. Oh, uh, that's a big hole. There's that is a no very large hole attacks. in the world. We should take this stragglers and that make it's it a very necessary. unpleasant shade of green. It's a gross hole. That's yeah. a and gr gross and unpleasant hole. Good thinking. I'm determined to hold cool. out until they stop. The me last too. time I saw something this green, it was in a rim Don't jump into it. I'm not gonna. To it was in a rim world mod where a mutating meteorite landed and anything that got close to it would like start turning into other weird animals. 
You betcha. We can use the north. That wall. sounds yeah. unpleasant. It was super unpleasant, and I was like, I know someone like is super into this in a way that I'm not entirely comfortable with. I mean, there's always someone who's super into it. That's true. You you gotta understand. But the guy who was playing the game was like, ah, I can turn this meteorite into a weapon. And so he created an entire fucking obstacle course around the meteorite. So people who would attack him would have to go around it and fucking get caught up in it and, like, turn into a weird platypus person. That seems unnecessary. Right? Like... I, I don't really know what to do with that one. Platypus people, Zoe! <laughs> I don't... Yeah. Okay, so the book... I'm rereading, like, some childhood book favorites. And in it, there is, uh, there are a bunch of, like, animal gods. Oh. And one of them is the platypus. Oh, God. Which, given that the author is kind of famous for basing, basing her fantasy cultures on real-life cultures. Like, diverse ones, mostly, which right. is cool. Um, uh... It does imply the existence of fantasy Australia. Right. And it is specifically stated that there are no humans where platypuses live. Okay. Um, within the book, which is fine. Like, okay, great. Right. It's but there, on the other an hand, world. on the other hand, there's nothing I want more than to go to fantasy Australia in these books. Like, it exists! You've now implied the existence of Fantasy Australia! It's canon! I want to go there! Um... But it is, it is very strange. There's, I mean... There's also, like, I was... I've been, I've been trying to, reading these and trying to figure out, like, Oh, what are different things? I'm gonna do, oh, you got it. I, what the fuck? What the hell happened? You are now the arrow cart. Oh, okay. I am now the arrow cart? Oh! Yeah, oh, you, I have you have control of the things. arrows. Okay, cool. Yes. Choo, 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 choo. Yes, you hit the button and now you control it. I was gonna take it away from you to avoid this moment, but you got to it before <laughs> I did. It's my um. first run. I get to control the arrow cart. Alright, alright. Mom said it's my turn with the arrow card. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, uh, do you know you, you know how you told me to get a Libby account so that I didn't buy all those yes. books? Oh god. I bought all the books. Why? I like buying books. And I also like buying books, but like you, I don't know. You don't read that much. I started reading. I read every night now. It's how much do you read? <laughs> only for like a half hour. How much is that? Not very much. Because, okay, you know, as long as I, as, as much reading as I do, you know how slowly I read. I slow, yeah. I, I read almost as slowly as I eat. That oh sounds God. big. This is how, I don't understand how we, I ever went to any dinners with you. I wanted to die all the time. <laughs> you take so long to eat. And yes, I understand that I eat too fast. It's because I was raised by wolves. But... But even among slow eaters, I oh eat my god, very it takes slow. forever. I'm like, I have places to be. Yeah, you did. Like, it's one of the it's one of the things I like about hanging out with Pat is that he eats close to my speed. Um, he's not on your level, but you don't have to wait up for him. Yeah, here here's the thing. Here's the issue with me. In in reality. I think we're supposed to like try to get the bone fiends to leave. I I don't know. To live? About the, yes, I think they're friendly. I think they blow up when they get near this fucker, and then we get to shoot him. That would make sense. That would that might take down the shield. You take down. Yeah, yeah, get him. I think we also have to hit this guy from the back. Is that accurate? No, that's a different one. Okay. There's definitely one that you have to hit for the back. But, yeah, so, the nice thing is, like, n nobody eats as fast as I do, but that was because I wasn't allowed to read at the table, but as long as I ate, it was fine. Oh, so if you ate everything, really then you could start reading at the table. 
If I ate re no, I just got to leave. Oh, okay. You have to, uh, we didn't have like a, one of those houses where like you had to sit at the table because there were only two of us and we both, you know, you can't really do that. Right. <laughs> when, but yeah, my mom was always like, don't eat at the, don't read at the table. And I was like, why? Okay. I am strong. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but I really did did not. I wanted to read at the table. Right. I wanted to read all the time as a child. That was all I had for me. This wolf is fucking me up. Like, oh. there's a spare wolf, and it's up my butt. It's destroying your existence. I gotta. Speaking of wolves destroying my existence, I gotta deal with this wolf. Great. Too many wolves! Alright, we can hit the big guy now. Oh, for a second we could hit the big guy and now he's invulnerable. Well, it was, I hate it was nice while it lasted. It's nice having another person to do this instead of trying to do it all by yourself. I can't imagine how difficult these would be by myself, so... Having done them all by myself, it sucked. So, thanks for not subjecting Making you do to this that. alone. Yes. I will say, there were some I did get people in on. Like, the... Especially Path of Thorns, I, like, I had to get somebody in on the end fight. I haven't done it alone yet. We keep having to get other people in, but it, it's a super shitty fight. In my defense, it sucks a lot. <laughs> um, do you, so I, uh, I, I, I work very well with lists and charts and goals and gamification. Mm -hmm. Uh, so do you use your Goodreads account? I have a Goodreads account. You do. I, uh, no. Very no. Okay, so... I think we have to... Okay. Well, the greenness is gone, so I think we can... Good. We can um, go down here safely. Without being subjected to the greenness. Oh, the green. Um... So you can use that to track how much you read. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, this would be the tragedy you're talking about. Yeah, I do remember that this sucked. For her. <laughs> you notice her hair doesn't flip down. They didn't bother to animate her hair flipping down. Yeah, no, her hair is fucking made out of plastic. We're here, it's Jory. fine, this was made a while ago. I'm okay. I just needed a minute. I'm sorry. I understand. Completely. I can't lose control here. If you're too sweet to me, y'all fall apart. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Lesbian okay. drama is occurring. <laughs> right. I have to get. I away. mean, fair enough, but. Take her home. I have to tell. Tell Mama. We'll do it all together. I. I don't know if that's the best way. I think we need to talk. Cass, honey, drama. I want you to go with them. What? <laughs> no, I can't. Go, you go. With you. What if you need me? I'll be okay. My friends need Wait, you. Wait, so more. who is that that's been killed? You have to keep them safe. Her, her sister. Oh, okay. I'll be with family. I'll it's catch up when it's can. the necromancer's sister. No, Jory. Dies. Doesn't feel right. And, and these terrible. lesbians don't want to be Your separated, sister. but she's like, I gotta, I gotta, I, I gotta take care of I gotta go matters. deal with my family, <laughs> and then they're gonna send you cats with us. Them. We're talking about a dragon, um, the dragon that killed. Yeah, they have, they have like an actual love story in that season one that we didn't get to play. Right. That this season like, one that doesn't be. exist. It was we full of, like, it was a big deal. It was in, what do you, you know, this was the early 2000s. Or no, the early 2010. I'll leave tomorrow when you do. And a this video game that was like, and the girls I'm are sick. in love right. was like not nothing. Right. So what do we do with these Mordrum seed pouches? 
Um, mushroom seed pouches. What is? Oh, they're they're bags. You just open them. They're oh. stuffed. Now it's time to move on. Jesus, I've got 15. And I haven't opened any. I was like, what? Yeah. Such a nice price. Right. Yes. Leaving the instance. <laughs> I know how to play. You're games. remembering. Refreshing. Um. Yeah, they made. I mean, don't get me wrong. They made some significantly good choices in terms of how to keep your inventory to make it better, but that doesn't make it good. It just sucks. Right. Okay. So where are we supposed to go now? Um, our Dry next, top! Our next stop is... The Machine. We ha we're we going back to uh, back to Dry Top. To the Vine Bridge If we Bridge go waypoint. to the Vine Bridge, yeah, that's the... I think that's the only way to get in there. I still like this art. Yeah, you know, at first you're just like, what the fuck? And then you get into the actual place and you're like, oh, this actually is a pretty impressionist painting of exactly what I'm looking at. Right, this is not a bad oh, representation. That's actually right. <laughs> I thought it was stupid and meant nothing, but now I'm looking at it with my eyes and that's it. Oh, God. Uh... Just a minute. I'm opening all these bags. Oh my god! Now it's gonna take forever and you're gonna have no room in your inventory. Oh, please. I'm gonna break them all down in just a minute. Oh. Uh, none of these were better than what I already had. That checks out. But, uh, salvage kit. Pachoo! <laughs> and then your inventory was full. Only a little. Okay, maybe a waddle. Yes. Yes. You know, it probably doesn't help that we have not updated any of our bags in any way, shape, or form. I mean, there's bigger than 12 slot bags? Yes. Oh. Also, I'm sure you have some... Like, I still have some eight slaughters kicking around, I but I haven't thing. spent the money on that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna book? I vote we book. I'm okay with that. I don't want to fight these guys. Granted, I'm at the point where they don't give me any experience, so... Same. Well, I, I still get experience, but it's unclear as to what experience does for me anymore. Yeah, exactly. You, you'll you need it eventually, but like... Right now, it's stupid. I sparkled? Oh, I can jump. Cool. Oh, and we have a sandstorm. Oh, big sandstorm kicked up. Cool, cool. Let's go into this big cave. Marvelous. Just what I wanted. I think this is how we get in there, yeah. So, it's unclear to me why exactly we're going into this cave. Um, we're gonna go to talk to Timey. Got it. Who stayed in the cave. Got uh, Okay, yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. Yep. Remember, we went into the cave, and then Timey was like, I found some cool shit in the cave. Yes. She, we went and now the we're going to go talk to her, because she's, like, she's chilling. Yeah, she was like, I found some cool shit. And then she's like, oh, no, that fort's under attack. You should probably go handle yeah, that. Yeah, you should deal with that. <laughs> I'm going to touch this cool stuff in this cave. And you're like, no, that seems like a really bad idea. And she's like, I will do it anyway. And she's like, you know the police of me? And we're like, fuck, shit. That's not wrong. You are the angry little child. Yeah, it's been a while since we played. I'm aware of that. I'm glad you're giving me the benefit of the doubt. I'm reasonably certain we could have played the next day and I would have forgotten. You've been like, what did we do? What happened? Okay, the machine! The machine. Okay, cool. Uh -oh. We're definitely gonna have to fight something in here. Oh yeah, no, this this. There is a one hundred percent chance this is an arena situation. This smells like battle. There you are. You are starting to worry. Where's Marjorie? You two are normally attached at the hip. Shut up, Ram. Casimir, is Marjorie all right? 
Did something happen? Her sister, Belinda, yeah. was killed at Fort Selma. Whoa. Marjorie went home <laughs> to be with her family and to mourn. Oh no, that's terrible. But wait. I just, again, humans are very small. And I always forget because Norn are essentially human shapes. Right. This mission through. She's safe. Um, normally giants family. and other media Washington are media. like a little misshapen oh, and yeah. you're like, oh, okay, there's something. But yeah, but no. especially like Norn ladies are essentially human shaped. Right. She promised you'd join us as soon as she can. But yeah, no, they're just I'm very so sorry, tall. Kasmir. Sorry, my friend. Which is fine. I'm okay with this. But... So far. Right. Fine, but just like, oh right, yes, we're 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 not people. We're, we're yeah, but people. like, when you don't stand near a human, you're like, okay, that's fine. I was just huh? That. You know, I hadn't I, I hadn't even considered we'll like how big more? some of the monsters are well, compared to humans, which are just like yeah. normal size. <laughs> to moment, a norm. Right. Well, that's the thing. Head. Like, it look at here. Else. I'm. Standing next to rocks, who is so like these are like eight foot tall cats. To me, I'm like, yeah, they're like about human size. And then I'm like, no, wait, no, these are giant. Because in my head, the first time I played this, I remember being I like, that can't be right. Like I remember Char being way bigger than this, but I played a Norn, right. and then I was like, nope, sorry, but it's the nope, wrong. It still works. We're gonna attach that. That thing's gotta be dangerous. Absolutely I'm not. absolutely gonna oh, touch that thing. You oh yeah. Cannot My stop me. More resilient than Scarlet's was. Um, I don't think you should mess with it. <laughs> don't touch. I love how everybody's like, "Do not touch the thing." And Timey's like, "I will touch the thing." I am absolutely. Now that you've told me not to, I'm gonna do well, it 100. percent I was gonna do it, but now I'm gonna do it more. <laughs> Nothing better than an angry child. Don't touch anything. I will touch it. Timey! Can't get close. That thing is shooting off too much lightning. I'll shield you. Get her out of there. <laughs> okay. Well. Well, now we gotta get Timey out of the thing. Well, you gotta get Timey out of the thing. I don't have a shield. Seems fine. Oh no. <laughs> Time for a cutscene. I've been sent into a cutscene. This, this. It's okay. I'm also in the cutscene. Okay. Well, shockingly, it's me in this cutscene. I expected <laughs> it to be you, but I did get myself, which is fine. That would have been super weird if you just get to see me doing wacko shit. I mean, I've been in those. I've been in cutscenes like that. A lot of this game was like that. It was just you talking to people and me being like, cool. Why does brother do all the talking? Because he's so fucking chatty. Because he won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> to my side, bone bros. Hey, you okay? I think he's dead. What? I think no. he's fine. He's alive. Mm. Tell us everything. What did you see? Are you alright? I saw a bunch of what balls in space, I think. <laughs> oh no, there's some space and shit. How do you feel? One might go as far as to say, to Spaceballs. To oh, God. Still a reasonably entertaining movie. Like, so stupid. Still laugh very, very hard. Right. It's not It's not Blazing Saddles, which is fucking laugh a minute. Oh, no, seen it? see, okay. Spaceballs was always my favorite growing up. <laughs> because it wasn't so I really love science fiction. <laughs> Uh, like, I was incredibly into Star Wars <laughs> <It was. laughs> before the hey guys, prequels came out, and then I stopped. We need to talk about the and then I started it again in high yeah. school, <laughs> when I discovered the expanded universe. Blah blah blah, more dramoth, blah blah blah, and shit, blah blah blah, talk to a big train. I'll mail you when I'm ready to go to the kill. That's what I got. <laughs> Sweet. Small bag of geodes. <laughs> I'll mark this among it's okay, I got a letter. Uh, episode complete. Entanglement. Uh, the active story is now The Dragon's Reach, part one. Cool. Uh, I have earned a Check mastery your mail. point. 
And I have acquired a token of Chinese gratitude. <laughs> oh no, are you telling me that for my services I was presented with her eternal Nothing. gratitude? Oh my god. <laughs> That's a call from Texas. Fuck him. Uh, there's pot pies in the oven. The timer is going. I don't know when. Uh, Please notice our floor! Yes, I do. Do you know how much of my own hair came out of our rug? Oh, <laughs> it was disgusting. <laughs> we got a new vacuum. I, man. Did it I, pick up all the hair? It did pick up all the hair. It. Do you know how much I had to clean out of the little roller thing? It's very gross. It was like enough for a whole new Zoe. That's what I've always seen. It's just a green ball. Okay. I can't I... believe you just implied I made entirely of my own hair. Okay, anyway. What was yeah. that? I, uh, okay, number one, I figured out how to check my mail. Number two, can you prove that he's wrong? No. Uh... <laughs> nope. Number and I won't. <laughs> number three, we should go to the Upper Commons Waypoint uh, in the Grove. Oh, thank God. We actually have that one. Praise be. It's a miracle. It's a, it's There's also a, a bank in there. It's a Winter's Day miracle. Yep. Uh, See, but that's the problem with Winter's Day. Like, you could have made your own new holiday. But you just made Christmas, too. Well, hold on. Like, Wookiees celebrate Life Day in the Star Wars Holiday Special. Are you telling me Life Day isn't cool? I'm saying it's still Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like, yes, it is. Like, that's the thing. Just make a holiday, like, at all media that is fantasy and science fiction... Make a holiday that isn't Christmas too. Right. <laughs> I guess I will settle for. During the day. No, I won't it's settle for day. for like pagan stuff because that's Christmas now. Right. The pagans need to accept that the Christians took it and it's theirs now. We right. need to just just stop trying to. You don't get it back. Christmas is actually Yule? Nah, we took it. I'll fucking kill everybody who says that. <laughs> like, it's exhausting. Which I know... I don't know, the Neo-Pagans are gonna come for my soul or whatever, but fuck them. Oh, they're coming, and they're gonna- <laughs> they're gonna hex the shit out of you. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they will do nothing to me. Hello, I've been hearing a lot about That's the great thing about being really down on all religious practices and spirituality and the supernatural. You're like, what are you gonna do to me? Say some weird words? Fuck off. <laughs> Say some weird Hello. words. I heard Sweet. you fought Saitan beside Kaith. It's an honor to meet you. Our beloved mother is ready to see you. Like, I just saw somebody getting really mad because, like, oh, but the five pointed star is actually a pagan thing. I'm like, actually, it was Christian first represented Jesus but that's fine to see you you guys will allow me to present your you guys took that back huh? of that's cool. and commander <laughs> of the pact. I am eager to hear what it is you wish to discuss uh, uh right vines we're talking about vines yeah we're talking about vines I'm I gotta stop getting mad about religion <laughs> I've had a rough holiday the season and Mordromoth has reached full awareness I had half a Whoa. half a mind to wish you a Merry Christmas, but I, I thought you were already world. going through a hard Welcome. time. Thank you. I would just prefer if people, like, of course. wishing me a Merry Christmas, Christmas it's fine, but I also want people to wish me a happy Hanukkah. That's the thing. Uh, the rule is you must know when Hanukkah is. Right, okay, I get it. That, that does sound like the problem. I'm willing to wish you a happy my holiday. But, but not, not a happy my holiday. Exactly. Yeah, that's, it. that's it. That's the problem. I wish everybody a happy Hanukkah during Hanukkah. To go well. she agreed they to did go not well. when I was working in retail. They, you should have seen the looks I got. 
What? Why okay. would somebody be upset that you wish them a happy Hanukkah, or just why would they, they, why would somebody be upset that I wish them no, their my holiday and not no their God. holiday? Wonder how that <laughs> fucking <laughs> feels. No, I'm fine. I just was I trying to get back at a bunch of old ladies? Yeah. For a while. I don't know. I feel like Since if someone wished me a happy Hanukkah or Ramadan or whatever, I'd be like, "Ooh, am I invited to Hanukkah?" I won't be no. anywhere near. No. <laughs> you, yeah. You're not. I'll also, like, it's not holiday. a big holiday. Last time I saw White Bear, my mother was there. Uh. We can also, it's important. Ramadan is. We'll meet up again. Not near Christmas. Not every battle is I, I know. fun, I suppose. <laughs> like. Before I head to Holbrook, I should find. That's the thing that gets me when people are like, "Yeah, we're gonna learn about holidays, and one of them is gonna be Ramadan." I'm like, "That's in months from now. It's months." I know. Sorry, I've been listening to a lot of War on Christmas rhetoric for the purposes of dunking on it. Okay. And. Well. We have a lot of covered. a lot of people who believe in the war on Christmas right seem to yes. think that Deal. that Ramadan, Ramadan is, is yes not agrees to show up. I'm pretty sure it's a place, spring holiday. I don't even know. Straight up, think it's in together in support of a single cause. Yeah, that'll happen. No, when was it this year? Because I remember people oh, talking Fox. about it. Please. I don't know. The pandemic blurred everything together. I think it's like spring and summer. I've when gotta was say, it? this March was the longest year of my life. Yeah, it's April. It's April and May. Huh. Like, it's not even close to now. That's the problem. Like, that's... Like, that's in the Easter Passover category. <laughs> but it's... Uh, here's the problem. Here's the issue. There is... So there's a holiday of light, there's a holiday of fasting or giving something up, and there's usually a holiday of like, I don't know, there's another one. Rebirth! So that's Christmas, Lent, and Easter, and then you have Passover, which is about a lot of things, but Rebirth is kind of in there. Because it's about leaving Egypt. And then you've got Hanukkah. And then you've got Ra uh, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And then there are some other ones. And then Ramadan is Lent. And then Eid, I think, is Rebirth? I don't really, I don't know a lot about Islam. And I feel really bad about that. Same. But <laughs> that's because we live in New England. Oops. But nobody else knows anything about Judaism, so I feel a little less bad. Um, I want to go to the bank. Agreed. It's time for us to finally win the boss battle against our inventory. Uh, there's a way down that doesn't involve... There it is. Jumping. It. Yeah. I mean, wait, no, there's ju there's diving goggles. We can get... We can dive. And then we'll wa have to walk back up, I think, but that's okay. Well, how, how do the diving goggles work? Hit the diving goggles. Okay. And then jump! And then do a flip! Do a flip! Yeah, do a flip. Apparently I decided to do a twirl instead. That's okay. Did you live? I did. So, do, do diving goggles make it so you don't take damage from uh, falling in water? Oh no, you will, but you don't take damage from falling in water anyway. Oh. Like, you know... Real life physics. Yeah, just like real life. <laughs> yeah, if you jump in water, you're fine. That's my favorite video game mechanic. No, no, my favorite video game mechanic is there is no fall damage, like at U Secret World, where I was like, I'm gonna jump off everything. Um, but my favorite is like, there's fall damage unless you land in water, in which case you're fine. And you're like, I don't think that's how it works. Shut up, that's how it works. I'm pretty sure that's not true. Hush. I think you still die. Uh, bank. Bankman. Uh, is there a way? Can I get some more 600 gems for another bank tab? I. Mm. I mean, that's real money. Don't do that. Right. Um, what? I think I have. To, why do I have two bank tabs? Oh, because I bought an expansion and it came with bank. Um. I recommend. Oh, thank you. I recommend using the boosters. 
yeah, no, thank you. I got it. I will not eat it immediately, but I appreciate the fact that you did worry that I would, which is honestly fair. Um, sorry, I put things like... Like, uh... I don't know, I, I you just take the boosts out. Delete the ones you're not gonna use. Like, you'll be fine. <laughs> I don't really know what to tell you apart from, like, just just do it like you mean it. <laughs> no, I, I understand what you're saying. Do you? I, I do, but I still can't <laughs> do it. Just, just do it. Just put it in the thing. I'll think about it. Oh my god. Um, there's also material storage and you can delete some stuff out of there if you need to. God, I have so much shit. My inventory is so full of shit! <clears throat> Who put all this shit in my inventory? Uh, sweet treasure. I'm afraid that was you. Damn. It's like I've been playing this game for a real long ass time. You from the past have made this happen. Damn me from the past. How dare I? How dare I make my life harder? <sighs> Better than moot loot. All right. So Sell that finish. at the trading post. Just get rid of all this shit. Really, what I gotta do is go through and, like, try to use some of this. But, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Because that's a complicated situation. I feel like that's a lot to ask of a person. That sounds like a lot. Is there a merchant around? I need to go chill with a merchant. Are you just going through and being like, ooh, cool stuff in my inventory? Yes. That checks out. Um, so, uh, is a dagger, uh, is, okay, so a dagger can go in either hand. Okay, cool. Yes. It just will give you different abilities based on what hand it's in. Right. Uh, uh. So I think you can have two daggers and just be dagger necromancer. What? Uh. <laughs> okay. What? That I'm very excited. Unnecessary. I am very excited for Dagger and Necromancer, okay? Okay. I can't judge because I just really. Do, like, do I necessarily think Sword Necromancer or Sword Elementalist is going to be a great choice? No, but I'm getting a sword. <laughs> I will have that. I can't do it yet, but I will have it. Now I have a dagger and You know that great moment where somebody brings you food and they're like, it's hot? And you're like, yeah, of course it's fucking hot. And then you put it in your mouth anyway and it's really hot. Yes. And you're like, I'm an idiot. God, I'm so stupid. How am I allowed? Uh, I'm not using that. My word is my honor. Uh, I don't need any of that. Oh, God. Cool. I think that's everything. I think I got as much as I can out of my inventory for now. For now. For now. The inventory is a, um, is a tenacious foe. Yeah. I should note that Silvari are also super tall. Or can be super tall. Huh. Like, this Silvari is almost as tall as I am. Are you good? Are you managing? Uh, yes. Is your inventory being managed? <laughs> my, uh, my inventory is being super managed. God fucking damn it. What the shit. I had to get it out of my inventory. <laughs> um, do we have a cool 
back item? What is my back item? It's like... Oh, right, yeah. Uh Tree song go with you. That's <clears throat> That's super annoying. Okay. Just I'm just over here getting stuff out of getting stuff out of Oh my god, I'm annoying. Oof. All right. um, that can go in there. That can go in there. All right, that's good enough for now. Yeah, I've got myself down to my starter backpack, so that feels. Oh good. wow, you're much better than I am. I will deal with the rest of mine later. <laughs> okay. Um, where the fuck? Um, I think it's actually down here. Oh, how do I check levels? There Iron marches. It's Iron Marches. It's way over in Ascalon. Oh, whoopsie daisy. All the way on the right hand side of the map. There he is. Um. I think the best we can do. Nope. Dissa Plateau is out. Uh, Deliac Pass? Oh, what am I looking at? Um... Oh, wait. Chargate Haven. Where do you even have? The closest I have is Doya Pass. Oh yeah, Chargate Haven. Yes, yes, I see it. Let's go there. Oh, it's because we're high up. And it's on a different level, um, and that's why they're all faded. weird. Cool. And now we walk. It's so much walking. It's fucking Lord of the Rings up in here. <laughs> oh my goodness, your outfit changed. Did it? Yeah. No, oh, no, you're back to a no. dress. What did? What was it? You were wearing like a like a sort of like a red and pink bandit hood. That seems very unlikely. Oh, actually, we can't follow that. It wants us to go to the city and then go back, and I'm not sure why. Huh. I think we should just be able to go straight across. Yeah. But we'll find out. We'll find we'll find out next time. This time. This time. God, I hope it's not next time. <laughs> oh, that seems like a lot. I'm gonna eat with one hand. And Gently alter my trajectory with the other. <laughs> oh, is there a button that you can press to just keep walking? R. Oh my goodness. We're going this way. Yeah, hit R to run. And then you can adjust it with with the right mouse button or the wasads. Wasads? That's what it is. Yeah. Did I stutter? No, no, no. I gotta eat a pot pie here. <laughs> Some of us have to eat. Hey, I elected not to eat instead. I, do you want me not to eat? No, no, no. Good choice. <laughs> What's that line? You're better off with it. You're, uh, you of all people should know that I um, should definitely eat. Yes, no. <laughs> you eating is in my best interest. In everybody's best interest. <laughs> when I was mean at work, people, like, I had one coworker who would come up to me and be like, Do you want to maybe eat something? <laughs> and I was always like, No! And then I was like, No. Oh. So this we... is the same coworker who was like, Hey, it's two o'clock! And I was like, Okay. And she was like, You need to eat. <laughs> It's your it's your lunch time because I took lunch at the same time every day, because I could. Um. Zoe, did you eat anything today? No. Damn. Points to food court. Yeah. I used to. 
Well, I always got- I already got, like, points because I was there the earliest in the morning. Uh, so, like, when everybody- when we were starting up, especially post- in the post-COVID world, I was the only one who could do the, like, coffee run, essentially. Because I'd already gotten all my work done before anybody else came in. Right. I'm trying to get some waypoints here. That's what's going on with the circuitous route. We should do the Sierra Challenge. I mean, it's just a ball. And it's... Somebody else is already on it. What are you gonna do? Say no to a... Hero Challenge? No, it's just... That's not gonna happen. You gotta make itself to us? Cool. Now we can go. But Yee. So I've been trying to get a one shot together for uh like a couple of weeks now. Yeah, I've seen some of your messages. Um and I I I I, I think I might have to admit that nobody gives a shit about Five Nights at Freddy's anymore. I mean, yeah, that's a good choice. I honestly am surprised that anybody... I don't know, I never got the obsession. Um... Uh... It, it strikes me, uh, on a, on a puzzle solver level, cause like... The, the games present enough breadcrumbs to be like, can you figure out the story? Um, and then if you take a closer look, you're like, no, I can't, this shit doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> No, your story's not good. I mean, I wouldn't go as far as to say that it's not good. If it doesn't make sense, how can it be good? Um, well, like, it's, it's, it's got a lot of good pieces. Okay, it's not good. <laughs> you understand my point. I think you just made my point for me. Yeah, no. No, I mean, like, look, again, lots of things have lots of great ideas. And then... Doesn't make them good. Right. Just makes those ideas pretty good. Yeah, do something better with them. Um, because, like, uh, I, 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 I used, uh, in order to try to make the lore make sense, I used all the negative space available to just be like, well, you know, uh, we don't know what's going on here, so let's plug in something that makes this make sense. I'm gonna pause very briefly. Trying to figure out how to get to the place that we need to get to. I think we gotta go back and then up and down until we find the way through. Crap. It's fine. I did this to myself. <laughs> um, but like, even using all of the negative space that the the game has, the games have available, I did eventually run into a snag where I was like, nope, this shit's fucking impossible. Mhm. Mm this character that, like, is supposed to be dead before these things occur, and he's not. He's right fucking here. Uh, okay. That seems like a pretty large plot hole. Oh yeah, no, fucking huge. What? Well, no, it, right, it's it's hole. it's broken on two levels. On the one hand, he's supposed to be dead, and some other robots are supposed to be destroyed. And yet, okay. here he is alive and the robots are intact and you're like, i guess i also just the design of the game i took one look at it and it was like oh no no that's some edgelord shit right there i'm going home um are you gonna try to disagree that like creepy uh, Creepy cre Chuck and Cheese is, is not edgelord shit. Not edgy, because no, it's pretty edgy. It is. I can't argue that point. I, I just... Uh, Jesus Christ, we have a lot of hyenas following us. I'm just ignoring them. Okay. Just keep going. Uh, I, I, I feel like uh, the developer made the best out of a bad situation. Like, have you seen some of his other games? Oh, that's not right. Fuck, I don't know if we can get there from here. Shit. 
No, we've Fuck run into the main. <laughs> I was not saying we've run into the main problem. We can't get there from here. Oh god, I did this to myself by forgetting that I couldn't get there from here. Son of a bitch. All right, we should go back to Nemus Co Grove. Okay. Just south of us. I'm but, gonna go south instead. It's fine. Uh, if you get the chance. Uh, just look up Chipper and Sons Lumber Company. Okay, I'm running through nothing right now, so that. Okay. So he's just got a weird fetish. Uh, something. Uh, that's just his style. And they were like, these look like creepy Chuck E. Cheese robots more than they look like fucking beavers. And he was like, fine! You want creepy Chuck E. Cheese robots? I'll give you creepy Chuck E. Cheese robots! And the entire internet swooned. Uh, the internet has such bad taste, dude. <laughs> I'm not saying everything has to be aesthetically pleasing or anything. Like, I'm not one of those people. But it just. Uh, no, I, I, I definitely it just, agree. It with gave you. me the. I, it, it would, it's not that it, like, freaked me out. I just was like, oh. I don't need that. That's one of those ones that I just do not need. I don't need this in my life. Yeah, I definitely yep. agree that the creepy Chuck E. Cheese robots are, are super edgy, and all of the white boys were like, yes, give me the creepy Chuck yeah. E. Cheese right, robots. And I think was that was like, part of it. All right, you want you want some more Ch creepy Chuck E. Cheese robots? And like, yes, more. And then he made seven games and wrote this ten books and has a movie on the way. Jeez. All right, so we went the wrong way, and I should have followed the thing, but I was being pissed. I mean, have you considered how many times the thing has been wrong? Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Usually, I can get around the thing. I guess I should have remembered that I can't get to that part of Ascalon from this part of Ascalon. Anyway, we're going this way now. Understood. I'm just gonna walk. This is full Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Howard Shore would be so upset with you <laughs> for the noise you just made. <laughs> and he would be right to be upset with you. Uh. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm not, like, gonna be like, well, if you like it, you're a bad person. It's just not for me, and it gives me the, like, I mean, there's just certain design factors that I'm like, oh. Like, you ever seen somebody's art, and even though it's not, like, weird, horny, furry art? You know they do that? Yes. It's like that. I'm like, no. And there is Don't like that. <laughs> so much weird, horny, furry, creepy Chuck E. Cheese robot. Yeah. Out there. I don't need that. And just like, even I don't understand it. As weird and internet as I am, I'm like, why? Yeah. I don't know. I guess Venom was kind of like that for me. Oh. Fucking Tumblr went crazy over Venom. I got I, I got monster fucking friends who were like, yeah, give me the Venom. Put the goop on me. Also, it was a bad movie. And I don't... I will fight anyone on that one. I... I, I didn't see it. I do kind of Not want good. to, even if it's bad. Yeah, I mean... It's... It got a lot more credit than it deserved. People were, like, people... Now, I was gonna say people whose opinions I trust, but that's actually not true. Was it Norman? People with famously it... bad opinions. It wasn't, but... <laughs> think that level of bad opinion. <laughs> um, people who I like who have terrible opinions about this. But who aren't um, Norman, understood. But aren't Norman, yes. Uh, we're like, no, it's amazing, and I was like, it's not. It's, like a fine place for it's not good. It's not a good movie. We could have gotten there much faster if I had not done that. And I do <laughs> want to apologize. 
We're just hanging out, man. You made me play Diablo. So. <laughs> this is payback. Hey, don't worry. Don't worry. Diablo 1 is waiting for us. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Are you drawing the line at Diablo 1? I am drawing the line at Diablo oh, 1. Oh, come on, man. No. No, I love myself. <laughs> like, fuck off. You know what? You just said, I love myself, and I'm like, oh, that might have something to do with why I love Five Nights at Freddy's so much, because of, like, how famously difficult the games are. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's, like, it's creepy Chuck E. Cheese fetish art, and it's build itself as super, super hard, and I'm like, ah, the perfect recipe for weird white boys. Yep, white boys love that shit. Can't get enough of it. Like, are you in here? Uh, I'm not loaded? in there yet. No. Okay. I want to make sure you load before I start taking off through the Black Citadel. Thank you. I will get lost. Yes. Um. um I see you now. You're. <laughs> I did. Uh, I did watch a video about how the game was designed, and. I think the design of it is fine, but I think the game did a very bad job of explaining. Are you going to walk? Yes. Hey, I just got in. I just loaded in. Jeez. Oh, okay. Sorry. I've been staring at you for like 30 seconds. <laughs> Motionless. Um, I feel like uh, the game did a pretty bad job of explaining like how the different robots work and how to pacify them, which is like, no, that's bad. Like, yeah. Like, I, I understand horror is more frightening when you don't know how it works, but games are no, bad but... if you don't know how to play them. Yeah, I think... Because horror is scarier when you don't know how things work, but that's... But you can know how... Like, like I don't think at any moment in Alien you're ever like, can this thing kill me or not? Right. Or like, You're like, no, it can. <laughs> or like, how do I deal with the xenomorph? No, you know how to deal with the xenomorph. No, you know how to figure it out. Like, you you know how to deal with the xenomorph. You just... It's just hard to deal with. It just sucks. And also, the horror comes from the fact that you don't see it. Right. Not from the fact that it is difficult to deal with. Like, um... So in the original Five Nights at Freddy's, there are two robots that come in from the sides of the building. I know, I'm talking about mechanics. Uh, it's fine. We're there. <laughs> there are two robots that come from the side of the building. I got you lost in the middle of Ascalon. I didn't even give you any history of Ascalon, so... <laughs> I guess you deserve this one. Uh, and there's another one that, uh, so long as you're using the cameras, it doesn't get agitated. But... The two robots that come in towards your office, one of them literally teleports, and the other one follows a set path. Like, and the game doesn't tell you that. And nor is it easy uh, to figure out. It, it, I think we have to go this way. Okay. Like, it, it's entirely... There's a, we're in a little valley, and there's only one way out. Oh, no. That's the only reason I'm confused. Uh, I do actually know where we are. But like, uh, it, like in the game, it's entirely plausible that like the game could be glitching out. You don't know how well it was put together. So when that one robot starts teleporting around, you're like, "Oh shit! Is this on purpose? <laughs> is this supposed to be happening? I don't know. I don't know if this is if this is good or not." Right, and like that's that's bad. The, yeah. the the challenge of the game should come from no I know what I'm supposed to be doing it's just hard to do yeah I'm I'm playing um uh Immortals Phoenix Rising the game formerly known as Gods and Monsters um I'm not familiar with it it just came out oh okay it's Breath of the Wild but Greek mythology it's everything I ever wanted awesome it's a great game <laughs> Problem is, it is full of puzzles, and they suck. Like, oh. difficult puzzles, difficult arrow-related puzzles. And Pat's heard me play this, and this is how it goes. 
I walk into a puzzle, I take one fucking look at it, and I utter the phrase, Are you fucking kidding me? Because it is immediately clear what I need to do. But, but that doing thing is it. crazy. Right. <laughs> that thing is stupid. And I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. That's awful. That's how I die. Like, stand on a moving platform while you go around this thing and shoot arrows at all these targets. And, it's, and you're like, this sucks. Fuck this. Yeah, no. So I walked up the first, like when I was dicking around relatively early on in the game. Um, you are aware that I know my Greek mythology pretty well. I, 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 uh, you're pretty familiar with it, yes. Yep. I, and my classics, because I have a degree in English, in a concentration on medieval and ancient lit. Anyway, so that's a whole thing. Point is, I walk up to this thing, I'm like, hmm, an Odysseus challenge. And I stand, and I look, and I see an axe in front of me what with the haft down and or with the haft up and the blades down and in the haft is a circle and i'm like oh no 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 thank you i've read the odyssey i know this is some bullshit <laughs> because i don't know if you remember the odyssey Right, he has to fire the arrow through, what is it, like 50 axe handles or whatever? The number of axe, yes. It sucks. It's a number of them. Right. And I, t like, I took one look at it and I was like, so that's fucking bullshit. And then I walked away for a while until I got better at it. <laughs> um, but, oh. yeah, it was one of those things where I'm like, okay, I know what I need to do. It's not that it's confusing. It just will suck. Right. And, like, sometimes that's okay. Like, sometimes that's like, yeah. do you want to, do you, you got to pay the cost to be the boss, man. Do you want to do it or not? But Yeah, exactly. Not knowing what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Right. But, like, if you don't have a clear set of rules, then what's the fucking point? Right. Then how does this game even work? Yeah. I mean, it's the same with anything. Any, any piece of media or literature, like if you've created a story it needs to have rules and those rules need to be clear and those rules need to be followed it's the issue i have with lots of things now is that they just make up rules in the middle that like like oh that can't happen but now it can now it can happen or if now that's allowed if you're going to break the rules you need to have a fucking good reason and you do actually need to have an in-game reason as to why you can break the rules. Right. It like, can't just be because I want to. Like, you need to you need to prove to me that you can break the rules. I, I don't think you should break the rules. Right. But if you're going to, you have to prove to me that you should be allowed to break the rules. Because, like, Sabriel's got that thing where she's got the giant bell that she's not supposed to ring. I mean, it's not that she's not supposed to ring it. <laughs> well, it, yeah. It's that she knows what will happen if she does. <laughs> ringing the bells. Ringing, did you know that ringing this bell kills you? Yeah, it's straight up. Like, early on, she's like, and this bell will murder everyone who hears it. Yep. Um, And she survives ringing that bell. And you're like, well, okay. Why? Actually, she doesn't ring the bell. Oh, my bad. The only time I should know... did Have you read this recently? Uh, no, it was years ago. Okay, so I actually... This is one of my favorite books of all time, so I know this back to front. So, her father rings the bell uh, after telling her to get the fuck out of there. So she's actually relatively far away. So she's out of earshot. Yeah, she and Touchstone book. And so they're not out of earshot, but they are not... They're further away from the actual ringing of the bell, and I think it also is underground. And it's been established that if a bell is not rung correctly, like things it don't, doesn't yeah. always work. Yeah. Or that, like, if it is muffled in any way, it does not always. Work. And uh, when when she does reclaim it, if when if I recall, it's broken. Like something went wrong. The yeah, the two bells that she gets back um are uh sorry we have to go around this thing 
she gets them back uh, in a in a, a church, something like a church that has been blown up <laughs> and it's super dusty. And when the bells get put in the dust, it fucks. It gets all like they need to get cleaned before they can be rung properly again. Right. So I mean, like. She did, but like, that's what I mean. Like I can recite why it works because right. I have, because it's been established from things that have been said previously that if a bell isn't rung correctly, it won't work, and if you're farther away, and if you don't hear it properly, like th these are established rules, and the only re like, so it's not just like, and then she rings it and survives magically for no reason, right? And, uh, 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 like, it's not clear, um, exactly, like, what it, what it's like when it's done correctly or what it's like when it's done poorly. It's just, like, if you fuck it up, it doesn't work. If you do it right, then it's awesome. Well, I mean, it is, it, it does tell you some of the other, what some of the other bells do if they are wrong. Right. And they're not good. No. Hold on. I actually need to do this. So we made it. I did that a bunch of time, and I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I got lost. There's no time limit here, man. I mean, there is. Oh. I have sleep to do. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm fine. The scale is in my way. But, yeah, no, I mean, my point is, like, it's not... Talk to me. Uh... Okay, what do we have to do? Uh, fight some plants. Oh, we just have to do some events. I kind of remember this. Um. Oh, barrel of flamethrower. Take one of those. Just do that. Um. Oh God. There's one thing that I wanted to bring up. Oh god. Oh, uh, my fingers are in the wrong places. Oh no. Uh, you're way over there. Hey, 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 I'm on the ground. Hey, 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 pick me up. I'm coming. Oh god. You're gonna let me die. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna get knocked around a lot. And then I'll let you Cannot die. Cannot be knocked down. Prevents damage. Okay. All right. We gotta do something about this. And I don't know why. Goodbye. Sorry. It's good. It's fine. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to the waypoint and then come back. I haven't done this in a long time. <clears throat> but yeah, no. My point is like I I understand that things. Like, rules... People will break rules, but you need to set up the rule breaking. Right. You need to like, check out Like, I need rule. to be able to be like, okay, here's why this didn't go the way it was planned in Sabriel, for instance, or in, um... Whatever other... Whatever other thing it might be, it needs a reason. <clears throat> or in, uh, da, da, da. like anything that's like, hey, we're gonna do a thing and then we're gonna. And then we're gonna not do it. Hello? Oh, hmm. This guy's up my butt. Um, cause I was thinking, god damn it. I was thinking of like uh, I, I I watched a thing the other year about magic in fiction and how uh -huh. magic is a place where you can you don't need to like ma uh, the rules can be fuzzy. Oh my god! I keep dying because this guy is focusing on me. Okay, I'm good. I'm up. Uh, and now we can kill him. If it bleeds, we can kill it. 
Well, only now. It wasn't bleeding earlier. It, it was not. That's correct. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Eight tender. They're back. Yeah, they come back. Fuck this. Fuck this game. Yeah, this. I told you. I did tell you this expansion sucked. Okay, I'm gonna run around. You get the tendrils. Apparently, he hates you, man. He does not like me. What did you do? Did you talk shit I don't about his know. plant mom? No, I think he only has a plant dad. <laughs> I don't think. I think Morgamoth is a dude, and I think that I think that's the only one. Yeah. No. Uh. Can I do something with this barrel full of flamethrowers? I mean, you can get a flamethrower. I do want a flamethrower. Then you can throw some flame. It's okay. I'm just gonna die a lot. Um. Okay, so what was this thing about magic? Oh, right. Magic is a, is a realm in fiction where things can be a little fuzzy. I guess. Like, uh, like Lord of the Rings uh, is a big example he brings up. Like, you understand that, like, the, the book establishes in Lord of the Rings that, like, magic is a thing that exists. It's a thing that, like, wizards are particularly good at and other people can kind of use sometimes. I, okay. Um, but it never, it, it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, like, get too deep into the mechanics of magic. I mean, yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean I don't believe there are rules. Get him! Get him now! I'm getting him. I just, I guess to me that just says, like, okay, so... There is some magic. I think, I think Tolkien knows what it is. Okay. Okay. Refreshing. And now the tendrils are back. And so, uh, in that case, it's all about whether you trust Tolkien or not to understand his own world. And he made a good story, so... I, the man wrote, like, 12 languages. I believe he knows how magic works. <laughs> or like, and I mean, maybe that's the thing. Maybe you have to be good to like make me believe you gotta be real fucking good to make you believe no you you actually don't need to be super good to make me believe you just need to like you need to allow me some plausible like I need to be able to get into it so like I always use um I always use what's it called uh it's a book, it's a, it's a movie. Oh, um, Pacific Rim. Oh. Pacific Rim is a dumb fucking movie. It's I love so it very, very stupid. much. It's great. The, I, but I will also say the only thing you are ever asked to accept in that movie is that when big monsters turned up, human beings were like, we should build big robots. <laughs> like, that's... That's the only thing. That's the only like suspension of disbelief. Because after that, everything like makes, like they explain it. Is the science great? No, but it like it's it, it falls within the world. Okay, get him. Um, like it is. It all. Once you accept that single premise, are you kidding me? He was invulnerable for like thirty seconds, for like less than. Oh no, he's, he's oh. still invulnerable. He's still vulnerable. Get him. Oh, now he's not. Motherfucker. Nope. Now he is. Got him. Get him! Fuck him! Fuck him. Plant is toast. I think we have to do like a certain number of them or something. Okay. So we got the sample, and then there's another event. We gotta go to be a champion. We got six minutes left to kill it. Okay. That might not work, but we're gonna certainly try. We gotta, we gotta try. Um. Oh good, somebody's already on it. Marvelous. 
we will help. Oh, they're dead. It's okay. Oh, this one's the one that's defenseless from behind. Yeah. This is good. Get your get your minions in on the front oh, side. Fuck. Oh god, dude. I'm sorry. Nope, now I'm down. We're doing great. We're this already going doing great. It's going alpha. very well. Very well, everyone. Are you getting back up? Yep. Did you get a waypoint? No, I had a spare revive orb. Oh god. Use some of those, huh? Okay. I have like two. You will not get those often. Understood. Those are the ones you should not. But I mean, it's fine. Like, it'll be okay. It's not like you'll die now. Right. Again. But I'm just saying. The major issue with this creature is I can't figure out which side's the back side. <laughs> uh, this is the back side. Pretty sure. Jesus. You are not doing great here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I keep walking. I thought that was your poison thing. Nope, sorry. I didn't really. Okay, we should get this waypoint that's nearby. I did, but it's contested. Of course it is. Of course. Checks out. Why wouldn't it be? Um. What was. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, Pacific Rim. So. <laughs> The only thing you need to accept is this one very, very incredibly stupid idea that if big monsters showed up, human beings would make big robots to fight right. it. But I mean, like, I, at that point, do you want the movie to happen or not? Yeah, but, like, that's the only suspension of disbelief you need. Yeah. Which is kind of great. I don't hate it. Like... But on the other hand, like, I feel like a lot of movies are not like that. Like, a lot of- oh, Jesus. Okay, so this- we're not gonna fight this. This is not gonna work for us. Yeah, it- it just seems to keep killing us, and I don't know it, what we're doing It's immediate. Wrong. Well, it's got all this nectar around it. I don't know what the fuck that no, is. No, here's the issue. This was done when there were a bunch of people- I remember doing this the first time. And it was, it's a group event. Like, we should not be taking this on with two people. It's stupid. Oh. Uh... Um. I vote we stop here because I'm getting frustrated. I and I'm find that for a while. Totally acceptable. You should kill those wargs, it'll help you find oh, will it faster. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like, uh, the I'll, big... I'll try to remember how this actually is supposed to work. Thank you. Uh, you're right, this is much quicker. See? Okay. Twice as fast if you're not being attacked. Marvelous. Okay. Alright, we'll come back to this situation later. Godspeed, everyone. 